Okay, so we're back. Uh, so part four, uh, and we've we've got this sort of basic set out. Uh, there's our top. There's our, our garbage area, uh, our refuse pits. We've got food production going. We've got the kitchen so we can have a bit of alcohol. If you just check the stocks, you can see we're actually low on other, which is probably uh, eggs and, and such like and easy meals. But we've got a decent amount of plants and drinks, so it's all good. Uh, we've got our wood wood set up so we can uh, get a couple of beds set out now because we we've just got that done. So that's a simple case of go to the carpenter's workshop, press A, and then you want beds. So they're just B. We just, we just want a bunch of beds. So that's fine. We'll just get that bed set out. We need all our guys to be sleeping properly. Makes them comfier, makes them happier, etc. Uh, I've just dug out this other area. I'm going to put something in there. I'm not too sure what yet. Uh, jewelry craft still not been built. Not sure why. I haven't really looked at that one. Uh, we've got our, our dining hall down here with our, our, f our food and, and liquid area to uh, keep things going. And that's where we're going to put our beds. And I've not really gone any deeper. Uh, one thing I just want to notice actually is granite walls. Uh, it's not a flux stone. Um, so unfortunately, I haven't got any flux stone just yet, uh, but that's that's part of the exploration of this game. Uh, but what I am going to do, I am going to start setting up the defences. So what we need to do, we need to get a drawbridge. Um, so that's what exactly what I was going to build down here. So in this shop here, I'm going to get a mechanics workshop. Uh, so a mechanic is around here somewhere. There it is. T. Uh, T is the mechanics workshop. Uh, so that's straightforward. We might as well use siltstone because I'm using it for everything else. Uh, and up the top here, uh, I'm going to dig out a channel. So to dig a channel, D and H. H is a channel. Uh, and now if I just want to be completely anal, I need to find where my marker is. Uh, so that is going to be the corner there. So that's the corner. Uh, and that's going to go down to... <laughs> This is where you got you got to suffer with my uh, OCD, and then you probably realise that actually you're all the same. That there is wrong. That's what that is. That's wrong. So how do we get rid of it? Because it's wrong. Well, we want to remove the designation. Uh, so we want D and remove designation, which is X, because that was wrong. <laughs> That's what that was wrong. Yeah, uh, I didn't want to be there. I wanted to be out here, didn't I? That's where I wanted to be. I wanted to be there. So D and H is there. And we want to go down to the corner down here. And I really... Th th there's a reason I'm doing this. There's a, there's a very good reason. I can't explain it. Uh, and across there. So we want three. Um, so the problem is you don't want it to be wrong. Because when you're digging down, you're digging a channel down. So if I was to build something, something here. Build my normal layout. Uh, and the channel hit the... Uh, was to hit there, then I'd be digging into the channel and then exposing the whole area. So we don't want to do that. It's not good, is it? Nobody wants an area exposed. Least of all me. So, go down one, then the wall, and then there. Which should be not right. <laughs> Something tells me that that's wrong. That should be there. This is where you get to see my prime fuck-ups. As we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to be there. So that would be there. And then we'd go down to. So that would be the corner there. And then across. Somewhere around here. I should probably just count. That would be a lot bloody easier, wouldn't it? Uh, but a visual seems to work fine. Yeah, that's in line. No. So if I go down a couple floors that should be perfectly in the corner excellent and the same with that one yeah this, this trench malarkey it's it's not as clear because it seems okay and this is going to cause a problem because we are going to cut into this water which is going to cause an issue so you can see what I'm doing here I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm simply building a trench around my entire fort. So obviously you're going to make a moat. That's the plan. Make a moat, make a drawbridge, put the drawbridge over the top, fill the moat in. It's not rocket science, it's medieval. So, 
Our miners will come out and they're going to dig this trench out. Uh, now they don't need to worry about uh, the fact that people can walk over it because they can at the moment. Because you see they've got these up and down slope markers on them. At the moment you can you can walk down, which is why they can quietly walk down. The middle one will get channeled out. Um, and then as soon as they do this side, it will that will get leveled out. So then you need to remove the, the designation. So we'll do that in a second. Uh, meanwhile everything's going on down the bottom. Hopefully the workshop... Uh, the man yes, it has. The mechanic's been done. So what we're going to do is make a bunch of mechanisms there. So that's uh, A and T. So Q for query, then A and T. Nice and easy. So what do we need those mechanisms for? Well, we need them for the bridge. That's what we need them for. And we're going to build a bridge. Uh, we're going to have it facing, I think, out towards that river. I'm thinking I'm going to have some nice defensive sort of position here. So like a double, double jump. That way I can probably probably include some water in here so I can keep myself a nice water area and maybe have a grazing out there or something I don't know, uh, thinking ahead uh, but we are going to dig around that one and you can see actually he's fishing on there so probably not the best idea to dig into that water but that's what I'm going to be doing and you can see this is the level below and again if I was to say dig out my fortress then yeah this, this would be there you'd have that there and then you'd have that there so these would be these, this is basically my marker of uh, my footprint of my and it fits perfectly excellent just as I needed whoops that's wrong I'm not don't, I don't need this I'm just doing it for simply a case of if I were to use it that's where things would go they won't dig it out because there's no interconnecting parts but as you can see, that's where things are going to go. I, I may even dig it out and use it as uh, underground farms, that, that probably area. That's what I was thinking of uh, at some point. And you can see my guys mining. I keep pointing my finger. The guy's mining down the bottom here at the moment. Just channeling it out. So this is going to build a straight, simple, the simplest type of defense, uh, really. Um, used to be traps. Traps were great defense. But now uh, I've gone towards trenches more than traps. Um, traps block the route path of your trade caravan, um, which I will show you shortly. But I'm going to build the trade caravan probably out there uh, and have it as like a second inner layer. Uh, in fact, I'm going to do that right now. So let's build the trade depot. So by trade depot is B and I believe it's like capital D, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, so the trade depot. I'm going to double channel this, so... I'll set some sort of funky defense system up out here, I think. Hmm. How should I go about this? Yeah, we're going to keep it a double layer in the corner. Is there any corner? Where should we put this? We're going to have... Yeah, we will. Tell you what, for now, I'm just going to build it in here. Chop that tree down because it's annoying me. Why are you... Why are you uh, I'm trying to build a door. There we go. Autumn. Let's for now we'll build into the corner here, um, and I'll play around with it in a bit. Uh, we can always knock it down at some point. So we're going to build that out of siltstone, and the trade depot will go there. So what I'm going to do is going to put the bridge here, one bridge here, and one bridge there. That's the, my my grand plan at the moment. Uh, so I can enclose this water within the trench. Doesn't quite fit, does it? I could fill that over. No, I couldn't. I can figure something out. <laughs> As you may notice, I'm getting a little bit picky with uh, how things are going. Uh, and actually, the horse has just had a foal. Uh, and the, the nifty thing that uh, Toadie's done recently is actually on this pen and pasture, you can see now that this the, the, the new foal has been marked into that. It used to be that as soon as something was born, you'd have to go and then mark it to a pasture. Uh, as it is now, it, it'll automatically do that. I did just notice that actually there's a goat kid that's come along, so that must have come along with one of my um, migrants. You, you will notice that when your migrants come along, they'll bring a bunch of pets along. I'm hoping they'll bring some cats and dogs along. Uh, that's what I kind of need at the moment. That's what I am short on. Uh, so I'm just channeling this out. Uh, hopefully down here, yeah, you can see I've got a bunch of tables now and a bunch of beds. So let's go down and place a bunch of beds. So build and bed. Well, it's B. No shock there. And let's just stick a bunch of beds down here. And suddenly, we're going to have a bunch of happy dwarves. 
that's all the beds done. We can stick a few doors down here as well. Okay, and that's the doors done. Uh, let's throw some tables down up here. Get ourselves. Don't know what colour that one is. I think, I think my colour coordination is going to be out the window, if I'm honest. So, yeah, that's 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 how things are moving on. So you can see they're going to pick all these doors up and stuff. And yeah, you can see the mechanisms as well in here. So you see these cogs? That's, these are the mechanisms that have been building. Uh, so what we want also, alongside this wall, is a... Uh, this Sorry, this trench is a wall. So to build a wall, we want to build a wall. We probably don't really need a wall, but uh, if there's ranged people, they could fire. They could shoot us across so that you get the arrows. So we want a wall to protect ourselves. Uh, so, build a wall B, and it's a capital C, if I recall, which stands for Wall Floor Stairs Track. So, C, and then W for a wall. Straightforward, that one. Or just enter, in fact. And this is just like the farms, it's U, M, K, H to uh, expand. So we're just going to use K, expand it out, stick it in the corner there. Uh, and what should we make it out of? Now, this is an important thing. This is our aesthetics thing right here. Uh, I'm going to build it out of siltstone, I think, since we seem to have 99 of them. Um, although, I wouldn't mind building it out of granite. I'm going to go with granite. I am going to go with granite. Uh, so I need to actually dig into the granite first. The granite is this big bright white stuff down here. So I think that would actually look pretty damn good, don't you think? I think it'd look pretty damn good having a big bright, bright ass white castle. I think that'd look pretty, pretty awesome. So apparently, um, I did point out earlier on in one of my videos that uh, the the skill level of the miner uh, ma matters how much stone is dropped. That has changed. That is no longer the case. That changed in 34.08, uh, and it's now a simply a, I think, a 25% drop rate. Uh, one, yeah, one in every four stones it will drop. So it doesn't matter. The skill level of the miner is purely down to um, how fast they can do it now, which is uh, different from how it was before. And you can see that actually the mine miners are going a lot quicker now. You see how quick they're going through the stone. That's not the game just going faster. That's the miners going faster. They've just got better in skill uh, as they've gone along. So they're just mining a lot quicker. Uh, but what I'm doing here is just trying to get some stone, simply. Get some marble out there. Uh, granite, sorry. So now that I can build the wall up here, uh, I can extend it out and I'll have enough I'll have enough granite now. I'm going to have to mine out a lot more, but that's just immediately added. It was at 8, 0, 8, now it's 0, 24, so you can see I've added load. All it did there as well was shift and enter, um, which has built the uh, used instead of you'd have to press enter nine times or whatever it is for the for the length of the wall I've just built there. You just do shift and enter and it'll allocate all of that stone straight to the same one. Uh, so straightforward. Uh, oh, I've struck Mika as well. Well, wow, that's 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 like a fan favourite. Uh, people like building stuff out of Mika. It's because it's the the blue. Uh, actually, I tell a lie. Mika's not the blue, is it? Mika's brown. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. I'm not sure. Either way, it's not the one I was thinking of. It's just my, what's the blue one? Somebody somewhere can tell me. Tell me in the comments. What's the blue one called? I know a lot of people like the light blue one. <coughs> Nevertheless, they're digging out my my stuff. So that guy's become a mechanic. Excellent. Is his name Mike? Ah, okay. So my gem thing's been built now. So basically, that's simply a case of the guy was so busy before. These X's here, these are the bins. You can see you've got buckets here, rock pots, uh, all sorts of things. Uh, my farm seems to be going nicely. I seem to have a good amount of drinks and plants. So now we get into the stage where probably it'd be nice. I haven't allocated the bedrooms yet, by the way. Uh, you may have noticed I do need to get some more beds though, because I have a nasty feeling that. I'm about to get a whole lot more migrants in my next wave uh, because I've extended extended a little bit. Uh, they've not built that yet because they're still digging. Why is that one there not been channeled? I don't know. For some reason, decided to leave it. I'll hopefully come and do that shortly. And you can see this is the mason coming out here. It's a uh, stone detailing. Stone detailing. Let's have a look. I believe it's the stone detailing skill that he's using to create. And there we go, it's time to build the wall now. 
So hopefully that will get out of the way. You can see my fishermen actually out there as well. And what we're going to do is going to build a bridge. Right, so let's let's get that out of the way as well. Let's start that. Um, the bridge is classed as a bridge. It's not on there, is it? It's there. G, I believe. You can see it. G, bridge. So how does this work? Again, it's like a farm plot. You extend it out. And this time. I'm actually going to go that sort of size uh, and you want to know which way it's going to raise and we want it to raise towards us so it's going to be S uh, X I believe in fact is the actual way it's going to raise so now you can see if you actually go over this area you can see the big red X's that's where it's going to raise towards um, so if it was W it would go up that way and we don't want it to go that way do we because that would raise towards the enemy and you can actually get bridge destroyers which is why I've gone for the moat so you can get a bridge destroyer come along but if they can't get in there, there's no way they can destroy that bridge because they can't get to the bridge foundations. Uh, and of course, we need to make that out of granite, so we need it to all mix and fit. Uh, and it needs mechanisms. And once they've gone ahead and done that, we need to link a lever to the bridge. But we'll do that in a minute. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll, st I'll stick and go with it. The football's on at the moment. The Euro 2012 is happening. Oh, offside. Spain are absolutely destroying Italy. Uh, so now we want to remove a lot of these downward slopes. Once, once we sort of get to the stage, we, we'll start to push them in one way. Once we get this bridge built, basically, and uh, I'll get this finished off. I want to. I don't want to dig that out yet because, as you can see, it's it's going to flood as soon as I dig that out. It actually probably wouldn't it well it certainly wouldn't flood all of this it, it, there's not enough water all that means is the seven units of water which means it would cover seven squares so as you can see there's what seven ten ten units in there that wouldn't cover all that would it it would just disperse and, and that'll be a lost a lost pond um, so we'll need to prop it up again uh, and I'll, mainly I want to link it to the river so it'll stay permanently flooded uh, later on you could pump lava up to it something magma is the correct word uh, let's gather some plants as well. Let's let's do a bit of that. So that's D and P. Sometimes you need to do this plant gathering. Uh, I probably don't really at the moment. Um, I just want to clear the area up. But sometimes if you need, say, overground seeds, you can start making overground farms, which is what I'm going to start to do at some point. And that's m merely for a case of uh, different types of seed, different types of alcohol. They'll they'll get a bit bored if you do the same types of alcohol. So if you're just doing the plump helmet uh, alcohol, uh, they will eventually tire of it. Uh, in which case they won't be as uh, you know happy, etc. They'll, they'll lose a little bit of their happiness. Again, it's it's personal preference. You don't need to do it, um, but I would advise late game. You probably want to look at doing that. Uh, so you can see the beds being made. They're taken down here. Got a bunch more beds. So let's place a bunch more beds. Uh, I haven't assigned these. You might have noticed at the moment. I haven't assigned any beds, bedrooms. Um, I will start doing that. Uh, I'm not assigning. Actually, I don't manually assign, I just assign the room as a bedroom. Um, so let me show you how to do that. Okay, we've run out of beds. Uh, we've got a bunch of doors as well I can probably place. Yep. We've got one door. Uh, so what I mean by assigning a bedroom is you do Q, just like we did with the dining hall. And you can see when you're hovering over the bed, it's saying make it a bedroom. So you press R, and now it's going to say this area here is a bedroom. So you press Enter. Uh, now what you can do is assign it if you like, press A and assign it to a particular person. Um, you don't need to, so you can leave it to assign to nobody and then a dwarf will come along and claim it. So he'll claim the room uh, and then that'll be it. it that'll be Noah's room. So you didn't need to assign it, it will do it. They'll automatically pick it. The reason you need to assign rooms is for when you're dealing with nobles uh, and such like. Um, I don't want to go with these at the moment because it's just going to spill out. You can see it's spilling out further. So until I get a door on there I won't bother assigning them. Uh, speaking of nobles, while we're waiting for things to be built, and that to be constructed, let's get some noble. Let's get a let's get a manager on the go. I'm kind of jumping around the topics a bit, I know, but it's more of a let's play. I'm not doing a full tutorial here. I'm kind of explaining as I go. Uh, as hopefully that's enough for you guys. Uh, so press N, by the way, N for nobles, and you can see we've already got our expedition leader there. He doesn't require anything. He's got his grey, his demand mandate doesn't need anything um, now what we do need though is a manager we, we need a manager so uh, a manager will be really useful later on uh, at the moment we haven't honestly got anyone that fits that bill so I'm just gonna throw it 
to possibly the expedition leader. There's nobody relevant skills. It, it would put the guy at the top. Um, but we're going to put it as the manager. And you can see immediately he goes red. This guy wants something. He's he's picky. He's needs needs something to uh, help him out here. And you can see if you press enter on him, he wants an office. Simple as he wants a meager, meager office. He hasn't got an office. Uh, so we need to make him an office. Uh, we're also going to make him a bookkeeper. Um, and we're going to do make our expedition leader do that as well. And he, we're going to make him the broker as well. Although saying that, I think I just saw possibly someone with yes, we have a stone crafter who's an adequate appraiser. So we'll make him the broker. So the broker is required for trade. Uh, the bookkeeper has settings on it. It's one of the only people with settings. If you go across all these, it's the only one with settings. So you press S and you want to tell it to be on the highest precision, which means he'll count every damn thing. Uh, and that's good. That's what we want. So we know he needs requirements, so we need to make him an office. Put that man in office. So where are we going to make these offices? Okay, here we go. We've got a migrant wave coming. Let's have a look at this. Let's see, let's see what shock and devastation. It's not too bad. And there's only two children. You'll find that children are a pain in the butt because it takes them years to grow up and they're not always useful. So we have a, a great tanner and a beekeeper. Well, that's it's not so useful since we don't have any bees at the moment and we're not tanning anything. We're not tanning any hides, so... Well, thanks. You're kind of useless. We got another fisherman, another fisher dwarf. This guy doesn't do a lot. Uh, let's have a look, see what their military stats are. Well, there's a few of them with axe and hammer skills. Any of them social? Ooh, wow, this guy is really a good negotiator. Uh, we're going to put him in as the broker, new broker. He's got a great negotiator, good juju intent as well. So, actually, now we've been looking at those nobles. Um, we're going to pause that again. And let's just let's just see if there's anyone that fits this bill any better. So R and yes, this beekeeper fits the bill, doesn't it? He's an adequate organizer. So this new beekeeper has suddenly become a manager. Uh, the broker, you can see this guy. Wow, look at that expert of everything. This guy's a great negotiator, uh, judge of intent, etc. This guy's expert at flattery, console, intimidate. Mm, which one do we go with? I think this guy's because he's a great negotiator. Great's higher, isn't it? It's a higher skill that you can see. It's, it's level 11 and that's level 8. So we're going to go with the Great Negotiator. So immediately, I've just changed changed immediately. The Expedition Leader's now still... Has he got any requirements? He still needs an office. He still needs an office because he's a bookkeeper. So actually now I need three offices because I've just made it uh, quite a lot harder for myself. Uh, not so clever, was it, Lee? So, what are we going to do? Where are we going to build the offices? Well, um tempted to actually just build them here uh, but I think since I'm trying to build out this layer maybe go down a little bit does that make sense we know we need to build now let's build some here so let's just get some some layers out sort of sort of square footage here uh, yeah that will work that will work we build a couple of offices here. That can work. That can work. There we go. We'll do four offices like that. <coughs> I'm not that worried about the shape. Um, that'll fit there. Okay, so they're going to be our offices. So what do we need for offices? We need a uh, table and chairs. Doors, obviously. A bed. Um, bed for, to make it his room. Table and chairs to make it the uh, office. And we could do with a cabinet in there, a couple of cabinets on the go. So let's go up to our mason. So at the moment he's doing rocks, doors, thrones, etc. Uh, what we need to go with it, we want uh, a couple of cabinets and a couple of coffers. So H is coffers and F is cabinets. So we'll put them on repeat as well. So we'll get them going. Every bedroom kind of wants those as well. This isn't this isn't just a specific for offices. Cabinet and coffer and a bed. That's what you want in those three squares that I've made uh, for the bed. And don't worry, they can walk over the furniture. They're not they're not that fussy. Uh, they'll just double over it. There's no problem. Um, an animal's grown into a stray billy goat. How nice. So this space is going to be nearby. And you can see actually they've got starting to flash blue now. This miner is flashing blue. He's become a legend. Uh, legendary miner now, so he has no problems at all. He can just plough through anything we throw at him, which is great. So I don't think we've got any stocks of tables. You can see them all we have. The stocks of tables, chairs, and we've got a few beds. Now I could do a few more beds, couldn't I? You can see I'm starting to 
zip around a bit quicker here and not quite explain as much because I'm starting to actually get and play the game rather than uh, explain it as I go. Um, I'm just going to throw their bed in the corner there. So we want a table. So we can give them a table. We'll give them a table. Let's give them a table there. You can sit there. Uh, we'll put one there as well. And we've got some chairs. Chair there and a chair there. Excellent. You know, I could actually be picky. Yeah, I'm going to be picky, aren't I? Yeah, let's, let's be picky. Let's uh, remove that and remove that because we want it to be. <laughs> we want it to match. <laughs> I'm sure you guys playing are probably the same as me. Uh, we'll make it so uh, picky like that. <coughs> and people will just bring that down. And there we go. And actually, this guy's got a goat. It seems to be a goat or something following him. We don't want that. Why do we want that? Let's, let's see what's going on here. Let's see if we can assign an animal. Yeah, there seems to be a hen and a lamb. Uh, for some reason, that are following people around. So we'll put them back up. I think that must have been a lamb. We want a lamb to grow into a sheep, and then you can uh, grow that and, and shear it and get the wool off it. and milk. I think you can milk them. You can milk goats, can't you? Of course you can. Um, that's not a bad idea. Let's put a kitchen up the top here. Start milking them goats. Meanwhile, this bridge still hasn't been built. Slowly building the wall. Uh, so this this is simply uh, the easiest method of security at the moment, barring using tons of traps. Which you guys probably, if you've dug into say a hill rather than dug down like what I have, uh, traps actually are very useful. And I even even now with traps, I could I could effectively build like a a, a wall channel or something like that. Um, what I what I'm planning on doing is putting it open so. Uh, I could just have a simple drawbridge somewhere around here, and then a, a, a channel around, a 3x3 three three channel around, maybe maybe have it rotate around, have the trade depot somewhere nice and easy to get to, and then after that have a load of traps so they don't get into my main base. Uh, and honestly, I'm probably going to put a barracks out here or something. I'm going to cover over this, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build over it, put a well straight into it. Uh, at the moment, they're using it as fishing, so I might keep it open so they can fish. It's kind of annoying that... It's going to run along the edge of my channel, which would open. I think things can come up a well. Please tell me. What I'm thinking of doing is channeling this out and using it as part of the water. And I've got a feeling, if I even have to build over it, build a well, I think things can come up the well. Because I was thinking of putting a hospital here, or somewhere around here, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, I need to figure that one out. But yeah, that but that'd be worried. You can get things that can swim, that's for certain. So I'm a little worried that they can swim and go down the well. And the well maybe will oh, I don't know. Don't know. I think last time I did it it was probably frozen ground, which is probably where the problem laid in the first place, not so much the well itself. Um Yeah. I'm I'm rambling. Rambling in self coherent thoughts. Uh, let's build those beds out. Again, you can fit 28 beds in this bit if you want to really be technical when you're building the beds. Uh, much better when you get the manager on the go. At the moment, I don't need 28 beds, do I? Uh, I only need 16. What I will need is doors. And I've only got one. So that's one door placed. So let's make this a bedroom. You can see we can make it the full area, and we're going to assign this one. So we want to assign it to our manager. He's the most important guy at the moment. So we're going to keep that as our manager. So immediately the manager's actually married to the broker. That's quite handy, isn't it? So they've come as a pair, which actually works out really bloody well for me. Um, we're going to make that as a dining room, and we're going to assign that to the manager. So immediately that's assigned it to both of them. Um, I'm not going to give them two chairs. <laughs> I could. Suppose, um, and there we go. So I've made it a study. Uh, so I've made that single room there. I've made it into a bedroom, a throne room, uh, or a study, and a dining room. So now, if I was to look at the noble, you can see that actually they're still pretty pissed off uh, because they feel I haven't got an office. Why do they feel I haven't got an office? I'm pretty sure I just assigned you an office. I assign that to you. I assign that to you. 
What am I missing? What am I missing? Am I missing... Hmm. Interesting. Pretty sure I just made it a study. Oh, I assigned it to the broker. That's why. Not the manager. There we go. Right. So now, if I look at him... Yes, okay. So, the problem here... Oh, uh, oh sorry. Uh, the problem is, so, so he's now happy, he's got his meagre office now. The problem there is, um, if I needed it, I needed to put... Actually, I could get away with this, couldn't I? I could put uh, another table and chair. Uh, a table. And a chair. Honestly, I actually only really technically needed uh, just a chair there. I'm also going to put a container in. So if we put that in the corner here. Uh, no, I'm not. I don't want that. I want my stone item, but it hasn't built. They haven't built it yet. So I want. Uh, I'm looking for a coffer and a cabinet. Uh, you, you'll start. You'll start to get to recognise the graphics of these things um, as you go. So there we go. So he's just placed that. He's just moved the stone, and he's placed the table there. So what we need to do is assign that the room there, and assign that chair to the broker, who appears to be. Um, appears to be engaged or married or, or something related to the broker. So there we go. So now these two are all assigned and they're all going to be happy. So if I look at the nobles, uh, the expedition leader is the only one that's pissed off now. So no problem with that. We can fix the expedition leader. We'll give him his, his office at the top there. And there we go. Just assign him here. We can have his bedroom. Oh, I need a door. I'm picky about these things. I need the door sorting out. Uh, unfortunately, the stonemason is pretty occupied, though, isn't he? There's a cabinet. Oh, there we go. So there's there's the chest and cabinet. So we'll give them to the guy as well, and they'll be happy with that. So B and H is the container. Put the container in the corner there. It's a jet coffer. And then B and F is the cabinet, which is a jet cabinet. So there's the two items for those guys. So they'll be really happy now. There we go. Cabinet, chairs, wunderbar. And if we look at him now, he's happy because he's got his chest and cabinet listed out. Delight! Meanwhile, the stonemason's grabbing stone. It doesn't look like he's... Aha! We have a door. We have a door. So that's been the delay. Uh, and the delay is really actually my fault, isn't it? Because if you think about it, I was looking back and I was talking about the fact that I could use a stone storage. Um, but I haven't, so instead the masons have to go and pick up the stone. Which where is he going now? Looks like he's going downwards somewhere. Yeah, and he's picked up, picked up a bit of stone. I just saw him pick it up somewhere around there. And he'll come back up in a second and he's going to be lugging some stone. So that's been the delay in his build. There you go, he's lugging the stone along. Now he's thirsty as well, so he's going to go off and get some drink in a minute. He's going to place that there and say, right, I've had enough, I want to go get a drink. Which is fine, we've got 100 drinks lots of drink. We're actually short on meat and fish, but we're starting to get fish in. So our fisher dwarfs are doing their job uh, out in this field. And you can see actually that world has been completed as well now, so that's all good. Um, less than ideal having my pasture right next to this entrance. I didn't really think about where I wanted to put it to start with. And I am also going to channel that out. Now, while I know this guy's enjoying his fishing, not going to be enjoying it much longer. What are these things sat on the side here? I'm guessing it's raw pond turtle, yes. Because, have you spotted the error? Because I've not got a fishery. I've not built a fishery, have I? I've not built a fishery or a kitchen or anything. So, this episode is going to get me getting longer. It's already 25 minutes into the football, so that means I'm already a good half an hour into this episode, I'd say. But, you know what? Screw it. We're going to continue on. I'm sure you guys can handle 40 minute episodes of me rambling. So, as soon as this guy digs this out, we need to get a fishery up and running as ASAP. So it's all well and good having fish, but we're not dissecting them. We're not doing anything with them. Uh, so we need also to store the unprocessed fish, which probably isn't ideal. Whoa! Wild boar combat. Okay, we've got a hunter coming along, have we? That's a lot of wild boar, though. Is he, is he mad? You mad, bro? That's the hunter, there he is. So he's picking off... Oh, actually, they are fleeing, to be fair. So he's picking off these wild boar that are coming along. There's a lot of wild boar. So There we go. So he's just dug out that water. 
mining these it's a dangerous terrain to dig in yet because it was like two water um, and this fisher guy won't move will he so that's this is like I was saying there's seven waters they're not really going to spill out much that fisher guy really needs to move the bridge has just been built as well uh, so as soon as that fisher dude moves let's link up the bridge um, have they dug that out? Right, okay. That's firstly, let's build the fishery. Uh, B, W, and H is the fishery. And we need to get that stuck down ASAP. And we also want an area where our unprocessed fish are going to be. This is not ideal. I'm going to be honest. Um, I could do with probably putting a door on this thing because we're going to get possible miasma off this. Uh, but that's where the unprocessed fish is going to go. We don't need to worry about the actual fish because I've already told them to put that downstairs, haven't I? So let's put a door there. We haven't got a door yet, just yet. We're starting to get combat reports because this guy's fighting that wild boar. Um, so this is obviously someone I've had come on fairly recently. He's obviously a hunter. There he is, yes. So he's hunting. So he's got a crossbow, uh, which means, means an added task for me, doesn't it? So what the added task is, is we need to be producing and our craft dwarf workshop we need to be producing uh, wooden bolts and maybe even bone bolts but well for the moment we'll go wooden bolts, we haven't really got any bones we've got enough bone uh, so there we go so what we're going to do, we're going to link the bridge up, this is the original plan and there you go, you can see the bores actually ah this is another problem, this is another problem isn't it what do we need here? we need a butcher so I'm going to build a butcher as well. So build a bu workshop, a butcher's workshop, which is B, W, and U, a butcher's workshop. Again, this is another miasma pile about to be created. This is a dangerous room, this one, isn't it? Uh, we're going to create it out of that. And what you want, you, you want next to a butcher's workshop is a tanner's workshop uh, because they'll chop the meat up and they'll have the skin straight away. So you need the tanner straight away there. Uh, nice and easy, and that'll auto do it as well. It's like an auto process that goes alongside it. Uh, so we're going to put that there as well. So we need a couple of little stockpiles here. Firstly, we want... Uh, what's it classed as? Tallow, isn't it? Tallow comes out of there. So we could probably put the tallow in between, which is the fat that gets taken out. This is less than an ideal room, I've got to be honest. Uh, so that is fat and that is all we need yeah so the fat's gonna come out of there so we're gonna store fat there which means I also need a kitchen so this is like a whole work room that's become suddenly is I'm not happy with this room now suddenly I kind of want to put it elsewhere I always have the same problem with these these ones um, I could do somewhere to store the leather just an, just an everything else uh, room, really, is what I'm thinking of right now. I can see we've got a bit of cloth up there as well. Cloth and leather need to be stuck somewhere. Mm. There's no reason why I don't just dig this area out here. Honestly, I could just have leather there, couldn't I? Just have that as leather. Why the hell not? It's an ugly ass room that is, isn't it? I don't like that room at all. Uh, let's go back to what I was doing, which was building the lever. So, in the dining halls where you normally build them, so levers are just like traps. They're in the same same area. So on B, they are under T, traps and levers, capital T. So shift and T, and then you got lever. Now, what I want to do for this lever, you want to put it in like a simple area you can go and click on. So I'm going to stick it in the corner here. Uh, we're going to make it out of a siltstone mechanism, and that's fine. So once he goes ahead, the guy will mechanic will go away, pick that up and there he is, you can see he's placing the uh, placing the lever and there's the lever, so now we need to link that lever so we've linked the lever, we need to link it to the bridge so we want to A, add a new task and then we want to link it to bridge top one, there's lots of things you can link up to lots of things you can do levers with, it's a very complicated game, you can, uh, people have made you know, you'd have probably seen it in Minecraft long ago, was where someone made uh, like a computer type thing uh, the processor, people did it in Minecraft years before that this uh, in, in Dwarf Fortress years before that, sorry. Uh, so we're going to link it to a bridge. And there is only one bridge, so it just says there it is. Do you want to link to this bridge? And say yes, we'll assign it. We'll assign it that mechanism there, and one at the top. And it will magically link itself. Uh, don't worry about the cables or anything else like that. It will do it. It will sort it. It is wunderbar. 
So, we've dug that out, that trench out. You can see we've got a mechanic now linking the bridge. Bundable. Uh, so we need to remove the, the area. So we want to remove the up, up ramps along here. So D and Z. So we want to get rid of all of that. All the fun in there. All the fun in there. And all of that there. Because we've got a bridge, we don't need, we don't want anyone walking into our territory. Everybody now will have to use that bridge once it gets created, which it's it's slowly doing, slowly thinking about it. There you go. There he goes. He's motoring along. And here we go. We've got a thief coming along. This is good timing. Um, not a great deal I'm going to do about this, honestly. There he is, he's been spotted. He's been spotted straight away. And it's actually my hunter that's shooting him. You can see he's shooting the arrows at him. Why have you pulled me down here? Oh, the the thing's arrived. The caravan's arrived. That's good timing. Um, they might actually help me out on this one. I think this guy is going gonna, is gonna to get the kill. I think he might get the kill. He's, he's bleeding. Has he got enough arrows though? What is he firing? What are these arrows? There's, there's piles of vomit. He's, he is in trouble. He is in trouble. And if you want to ever look at it, just pre press. Uh, sorry, I've not showed you this, have I? I'm pressing R for the combat report, and then you just simply press on the guy you want to look at. So the kobold thief that he's shooting at, you can see he's actually in trouble. So th there's pages of this. Trust me. Uh, if you go up, look at this. That's, yeah, there's two pages of it. So this is the combat log effectively that goes on. If you want to look at how the fight's going, you can see copper bolts are shooting through his small cave spider tunic. And his tendon's been torn, so he's in trouble. Um, the kobold is propelled away from by the force of the blow, so he's, he's actually really in trouble now. His ribs are torn as well, so yeah, he's, he's vomiting, he's unconscious. The question is whether the dwarf uh, can actually finish him off, whether he's good enough. Meanwhile, the trade caravan's coming in. So these guys, if they get wind of it, will get close and they'll just come straight down and slaughter him. Uh, but as it is, we might get a first kill here. So there's the trade caravan, and he has—he's run out of run out of bolts. This is why the the guy's suddenly panicking because he's run out of bolts, and now now they're all getting scared of him. Uh, I'm going to say we need a broker. Have I got any goods to move to this? Uh, I was trying to make some crafts, but I'm not sure if I actually did make any crafts. Other than that, I really can't trade a great deal with these guys. The elven caravan that's turned up. And you can see they're coming over the bridge. Uh, because that's the only, only way in now. So this guy, his only way out is to go over this bridge. And hopefully past the elven guards. They'll, they'll slaughter him. Um, but it's actually getting all my all my dwarves are in a tiz. Because this guy's down the bottom here. So they're all having a bit of a... Yeah, look, like you can see they're dropping shit. Uh, they're not happy about this at all. He's going to walk towards them. I think I should just send them in to attack him. Now he's actually seems to. There we go. There's the elven guards. They're going to absolutely muller him. Yeah, it's not it's not going to be much left of him. He's, he's dead. Another kobold thief. Where's this one spotted? Oh, there he is. He's in the. He's in the. He's in the river. My guys are really having a f spaz over it, aren't they? You can see the dwarfs. Are re they're all panicking. Uh, they're panicking over it. Uh, what we can do is claim half the shit off this body, so we can see there's there's all sorts of stuff been dropped here. So you make sure to take the uh, take the brackets off it. So there's two small clothes, bits of items, and again I didn't see where that was. Someone just fired, and it's going to be that guy. He's around here somewhere. I think the guard actually saw him off, didn't he? Did he kill him? I can't see the body. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there he is down the bottom there. Oh, yeah, they killed him. Oh, yeah. The Hammer Dwarves. Okay, so this is the trade caravan he wants to discuss. There's not a great deal I can discuss here. Um, honestly, because we've not <laughs> we've got that all we can trade. Uh, we can just say uh, go down to stone blocks. Um, we kind of want flux bars. Well, not really at the moment. There's not a great deal we can do. There's, there's nothing. I've got nothing to trade, so I'm not going to really pressure on him. Uh, there's no point pressuring it. Um, but what we do need is, more importantly, this this thing was being built, wasn't it? 
See, that's now rotten meat. This would be rotten meat, and there's going to be miasma floating around in here and, and all sorts of shit. Um, it's not been built. The tanner shop's not been built. The butcher's not been built because chances are we probably don't have a butcher. We've got a tanner. We don't have a butcher. Uh, we're going to make him a butcher. This is why that's been sat there. So, yeah. So that seems to be the process of things. It seem, I seem to have gone off on a tangent a bit. Uh, there's me as well. There you go. So there's, and this is why I've cut the doors there, because the the corpses are in there. They're probably going to drag the corpse down in a minute. Um, but yeah, this is this is kind of why I wanted to keep that room uh, s separated. Uh, normally you'd have it outside, and you wouldn't notice because it's just outside. But maybe it's just a bad idea to put it in like that. I don't know. Yeah, finish that conversation. Uh, we've got a bunch of ravens again around here. If you're ever unsure what's going around, there's a lot of stuff going around at the moment. Yeah, the merchant's brought tons and tons of of different animals and stuff. Let's have a trade with him. See what if, see if I've really got anything that's worth selling. So okay, I have got I've got 540 golds worth of of crap in that one, and I've got about 600 tons worth of crap in that one. So I did make some pretty good stuff. Um, I don't want to trade that lot actually. I'd rather just trade these. I don't want to trade away my crutches and 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 such. Yeah, let's trade that. And you can trade the way the whole bin. Oh, Torres has just scored. Finally, a, a striker comes on and they do score. Uh, so what do we want to trade? We've got 910. We're trading with uh, a Dwarven Caravan, I believe. Yeah, it is Greetings Mountain Home. So it's a Dwarven Caravan. So what do we want? Well, honestly, we probably could do with seeds or stuff like that. Some sort of different type of seeds. I'm not sure what exactly stuff we've got. There's no point in going for anything fancy yet. Could possibly go for a decent weapon. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. A lot of Italian, a lot of the Spaniards uh, are celebrating this goal. I'm just going to check the goal. Out. Oh yeah, typical. Another great pass and it just passes into the net. Beautiful, beautiful football from the Spanish. Shame we're not as good. As us English were crap at football. Um, invent the sport. Can't play it. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look. What should we trade with? What do we think we should trade with? Um, I could just get a weapon. I could get some clothes, some cloth. There's no point for that. And the times I get cloth is more a case of just in case my guy has a, a shit fit. Someone has. We're getting towards the stage where people are going to have uh, crazy complaints and thoughts and go off at a tangent and want to buy or build something. Um, and they'll be looking for items and we can't supply them with them. Stuff such like that. But there's not really a great deal here, so I think I might just go for armor. I was looking for some, some st yeah, steel high boots. Hmm. Steel pick? No, steel warhammer. No, warhammer's a better off. Uh, you might as well just use silver. Steel's better for axes, which is what's there. I'm never going to be able to get that, am I? I mean, I know this guy's a great broker. Should we, should we try it? Should we try it? See how. I think he'd probably say. He'd probably tell us to do one trade. Is that no? Nah, I won't take that loss. So, are you mad? Are you serious, bro? I'm not going to go with that. Uh, iron mace is not a bad idea, maybe. Buckets. Don't want buckets or barrels. There's, there's seriously not a great deal. I'm thinking of trading here. Maybe a maybe a uh, 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 an item. I want a donkey. Not really any any caged animals I'm after there either. There's a rooster. Could he get a rooster and a couple of hens? That'd be a good start. Could start with the eggs. It's not a bad idea, maybe. S apologies about this. this I, sh I should probably do this off off stream, to be honest. Uh, I'm not really. <laughs> not, I wasn't quite prepared for this. There's been all sorts of things going on. I wasn't prepared for actually. Uh, a whole lot of rope. Kind of with a bit of rope now and again. Rope for the rope for the. Uh, I can't remember the damn name of it. What am I after? I don't need any glass. Oh, go on. Let's get two bits of glass just in case they do occasionally decide they want bloody glass. This is purely, purely. I think all I'm going to trade for here is a case of just in case. Uh, pig iron bar. You can't go wrong with pig iron bar. Um, I don't need pig iron bars actually. What I do need is the. Some sort of stone, right? Ain't got any splints. I'm going back around in circles here, aren't I? What are we up to? The trader profit is 720. Do one. 
The thing is, you, the idea is, the more you trade, the better the stuff that they offer. So, you kind of want to trade, but you don't want to trade. I'm just going to get loads of food. Ugh! Oh. Uh. oh, good lord. Oh, and I went and pressed T, didn't I? I only went and did that. I only went and did that. Yeah, I went and cocked up the trade there. Oh well. I was trying to do, trying to be too quick with the trading. Uh, yeah, and I fucked it up. Ah, I went and fucked it up. Oh well. Oh well. Can't win them all. So, uh, I think I'm happy with that brook. That, that, that. I could actually fill that in. I could link it to here. Yeah, you, you, you're all big and cocky. You're gonna go off away and say, yeah, I've made loads of money off you because you balls that up. Bastard. Bastard did me out of trade. Uh, so I think I'm going to call it there because we've killed a couple of Cobalt Thieves. Oh, good lord, it's 4 0 now as well. So Torres has just come on and scored two. So it's a good advert for, fo for football. There we go. That guy just went in and placed something in there. Didn't see what it was, but he got caked in Miesma. And I don't think he's going to be happy about that. I'm not too sure if this is a good idea or whether this Miesma is actually going to stop at some point. Um, doesn't seem to be. <laughs> doesn't seem to be working out too well. Uh, so we're going to call it a day there. So let, let's, in case you missed it, I linked up that lever to that bridge. So now if I pull that lever, that bridge will come up uh, and the traders will get really pissed off because they can't leave. Um, and if you're ever unsure of the trade route, you can check out their route, um, which they can go from, etc. There's, there's a way of looking at the path. I can't remember which one it is. Um, oh no, it wasn't. It was... It was Torres that set him up. Where are you? He's again, he's down there. He's spotted and he's spooked that dwarf again. He's been spotted and run away. I really need to get some dogs for this. They they spot well. Oh, we've frozen over. We've just got winter. So I am in a biome that's going to freeze. I wasn't sure if that my biome would freeze or not. Uh, but it is. It's frozen. Okay. Uh, now you know. So I'm going to continue building this wall up, uh, and then I'll I'll think of something else to say in the next game because uh, I, need, I need a break there, and I think that's been probably about 45 minutes. <laughs> so it's been a long one. Sorry about that, guys. Don't go anywhere though. But we will hopefully. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Don't go anywhere because we'll be back with the next one because that's what I did last time. And that's where I left you guys hanging. So I will continue this game though because this is my single game that I'm playing as well myself. So I'll be back with the next episode shortly. <laughs>